Hey, what's up guys? It's me again, back with another action figure review. Today I'll be having a look at this Golden Axe Skeleton 2-pack. These are by Storm Collectibles. And yeah, these are from Golden Axe, the video game, but it's basically just some skeleton, so really you could put these in with about anything you want. That's pretty much why I got them. But there is the front of the box where you can clearly see your two skeletons, along with some pretty cool images here. Side says Golden Axe Skeleton, and it's got a tiny little picture of the skeleton figure. Same thing on the other side. The back shows the figures along with their accessories and some different poses you can get them in, including the electric slide. Top, bottom, and the front again. So I'll take a second now, get these guys and their accessories out of the box so we can have a closer look at them. All right, the twins are out of packaging and to the top of their head, they stand a little over seven inches tall. So they are pretty big boys. And for their accessories, this ain't really an accessory, but it's pretty cool. This is the backdrop from the box. Cool little player select screen from Golden Axe. Look how pixely games used to be. I mean, that's actually how the game looked. Weird to think how far we've come in video games. Also, each skeleton comes with one of these shields. Kind of looks like a giant Lego piece. And then you have a place to hold it on the back. And each one also comes with their own sword. Kind of looks like a pirate sword, but decent enough little sword. And they come with a bunch of hands. Each skeleton has their own set of hands. Get these gripping hands. You get these open hands. You get these I'm going to claw your eyes out hands. And you get these skeleton nose picking hands. Kind of look like trigger fingers, but they don't have guns. But if you're like me and you have a ton of action figures, you got all kinds of guns laying around. Okay, that's all for their accessories. Now I have a couple different figures I'm going to compare it to, only like two, just to show you a sense of the scaling. First figure I'll compare it to is this Revotech skeleton. But this Revotech one is so small, it looks like it would be their child. Next, here they are with just your average size SH Figuarts figure. That is the PS4 Spider-Man figure. These skeletons just tower over everything. So that's all for accessories and comparisons. Now we'll have a look at the actual skeleton itself. And I'm only going to look at one of them while the other one chills back there. Because they are the exact same figure. So it'd be pretty silly to look at both of them, wouldn't it? I think they did a really good job on these. Especially that head sculpt. I love that. And the paint really sets it off with the dark shading in the eyes and nose and crevices. Makes it look really good. The rest of the body looks really good as well. Have some shading throughout the figure. Just painting, everything's done really good. And even though these guys are more seven inch than six, I think you can still throw them in with anything. I say any franchise can fight giant skeletons. But on articulation on these skeletons, they will not look up much at all. And you don't really want to force it because you stress the, the bones there where it's connected. And it's connected in a kind of a weird way. They will look down really well, however. And you can get a little bit of pivot for that confused skeleton. And one thing I think is really cool on the head is the articulated jaw. So when he kills you, he can laugh at you. <laughs> Moving on. His arm will go up that high, spin all the way around, no problem. Nice bend at the elbow. Wrists are pegged in and on a hinge. And you can spin them on that hinge in case it's not hinging the right way. You have another ball hinge here at the midsection. You can get some major crunch forward, a little bit back. You can swivel there. There's another one there at the pelvis, which allows him to go forward even more. And of course, it does swivel there as well. Does a beautiful split. Then they'll kick forward that far. <laughs> he could kick itself in the back of the head if he wanted. And you do have some swivel there at the hip as well. Decent bend at the knee, not real great. I thought it'd go farther. Also swivels there at the knee. Foot will go forward that far, will go back that far. And you do have pivot and a toe hinge. He does have nice big feet as well, which gives it a nice base to stand on. So shouldn't really have any problem getting these guys to stand. 
But that's all for the articulation. Now I'll pose these guys up so we can wrap this review up. All right, so there they are posed up. One's holding her dear sweet baby. The other one's ready for a fight. But I really enjoy these skeletons. Yeah, they're large, but to me that matters none whatsoever. And to me it was just two cool skeletons. I don't even care that it was from Golden Axe. Even though Golden Axe was a really cool game I used to play in the arcade. So it is cool that they are from that, but it's just cool to have some skeletons. Not enough companies make just skeletons. And they come in a set, so I think you give about $30 per figure, which really is a great deal. So I'm giving these the old stamp of approval. Not that that means anything to anyone. But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and review. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now. Where'd that golden axe go? No fighting. You'll wait, Junior. Ugh.